Hi, I'm April Rose, your Saturday Witchy Wisdom host. Um, I'm sorry this video is late. Um, to be honest, I just forgot. Um, and then I noticed um, another post coming up and inquiring why um, there weren't any posts for like that whole week. And I'm really sorry, I just, it slipped my mind. Um, so, and I was away most of Saturday. Um, so the f this week's topic is our favorite pagan or witchcraft book. Um, I'm going to go with books because I like books. I can't choose just one. Um, the first one that I've probably done the most reading and that I actually own, not all the books I talk about I own so I can't sh physically show you all of them. Um, some of them I've gotten from the library and um, it wasn't something that I could just go to the library and pick up right away because I have to get it sent over from uh, out of state and sometimes out of country libraries. Um, and that just takes weeks and sometimes over a month to actually get them here. Um, so the first book that I do own is Psychic Dreamwalking by Michelle Belanger. Um, I've been reading a lot of her work lately. Um, this one and another book. Um, this one talks a lot about working with dream states, um, a bit of trance work, um, as opposed to like concentration meditation where you're either trying to clear your mind of all thought or trying to focus your thought on one specific thing. Um, trance meditation is a lot more like the dream state um, and like dreaming. Um, there's usually a goal or something that you're trying to just, you know, something, an, or a journey or something you're trying to discover, um, that sort of thing. Um, it's a broader perspective than concentration meditation. Um, I prefer trance meditation. I'm actually not very good at concentration meditation. Um, I should practice and I can do it, but to be honest, I get bored and I feel like I'm wasting my time. So I prefer to do trance meditation. Um, and this book is excellent if you're into that, if you're into trying to get better at remembering your dreams, if you're trying to get better at um, lucid dreaming, which I'm actually really terrible at. The only times I've managed to do it was like a couple years ago. Um, I had a couple lucid dreams and it was by accident. I actually, the only times I've managed it were the times that I didn't try um, to lucid dream. Um, but this has some great tips for that and to be honest I just need to practice more. Yeah, but I'm really good at remembering dreams, um, and I keep a dream journal, and this kind of helps with that, and it talks about the different things you can do, um, when you actually get to a lucid dreaming state, um, and can kind of stay that way rather than, act, like, waking yourself up, which sometimes happens when you're lucid, um, so this is a great book for that, um. And I like the way she writes. Uh, the other book, which is also by Michelle Belanger, which I don't own. Um, I want to own it soon, but I just don't have the money right now. Um, is um, The Twilight Path. Um, I've mentioned before, I think, that I work a lot with um, life and death energy in my practice of witchcraft. Um, kind of the dualities of that, I just kind of see that as kind of like the essence of humanity and mortality, and I'm not, I feel like not a lot of people work with that, um, and certainly not a lot of people work with that mainly, um, most people tend to only touch on it, I feel, on like Samhain, um, I tend to refer to it as All Hallows Eve, just as a personal preference, I don't follow the Wheel of the Year, um, and I, I tend to take that more as an all-year-round kind of thing. Um, it's just something that I'm very passionate about. Um, and that book is really great, um, whether you're going through the grieving process um, from losing a loved one, um, or if that's just a topic that you're interested in. Um, that is an excellent book. It doesn't. It's not geared specifically toward pagans. It's more geared toward anyone interested in witchcraft in general, it can be, I think it's helpful if you already have a pretty good knowledge and experience with witchcraft, but it's written in a way that 
um, even if you're very inexperienced um, and don't know a whole lot about witchcraft, um, you c it'll guide you through that. Um, it might take you a little longer um, to get through um, the course that it sets out, um, but it's and it's also very flexible, um, which I like. There's a lot that you can change and personalize. Um, I that is probably like the book that I recommend the most. Um, for anyone interested in that. I know it's not everyone's thing. Um, the other book that I actually do have with me and is from a library is The Poetic Ida. The entire thing translated. <laughs> and I'm barely through it. Um, I'm only like that far. It's not very far, as you can see. Um, but this is beautiful if you're into any of the Norse mythology or just even very 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 early European literature <laughs> um, like pre-medieval literature this or poetry in general if you're into poetry um, this is amazing I cannot recommend it highly enough it's just the words just it's almost impossible not to read out loud just the way they flow um together um and i've always loved um norse mythology and the norse pantheon um so i'm very glad to be finally reading this um i don't know if i'll get through the entire thing before i have to return it and i run out of renewals but i'm gonna try and if not i'll just take it out another time Um, another book which I haven't read in a while, and again, I don't have it with me, it belongs to the library, um, at least the library that I have near me, um, is called Goddess Afoot by Michelle Skye. Um, now, it's not something that I use a whole lot now, but at the time, um, it was really good. It helped me a lot with, um, learning how to meditate, um, I found for me, working with guided meditations in the beginning... Uh, was something that I needed to do. It would, meditation did not come naturally to me. I had to really work at it. Um, and Goddess of Foot has, is pretty much a book of guided meditations. And if you want to work with goddesses in your meditation or the as, an aspect of um, a goddess, that book is fantastic. Um, again, because it's guided meditations, it might not, um, appeal to everyone. The writing style might not work for everyone, but, um, it's worth checking out, and if you like it, it can be very helpful. Um, I wish I could sh actually show it to you, but, um, it w for me, it's something that I actually put a lot of the meditations from that into my, um, kind of book of shadows, my first one. Well, not very, very first, but, like, the first one that I ever actually completed. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, another book I have. It's not my favorite, but I feel I felt like it was something worth reading because it wasn't something I knew a lot about, and I feel like it's something that not a lot of people know about. It deals with um, early Christian mysticism, um, which I didn't even know existed, to be honest. Um because Christianity gen generally condemns that. Um, but it's called Secrets of the Magical Grimoires, um, the classical texts of Magic Deciphered by Aaron Leach. And it's a pretty big book. And honestly, it's chock full of information about um, how witchcraft was actually continued... To be practical, I guess it's not as much witchcraft. Um, it's a bit more um, very early occult, and I'm not talking like Victorian occult. I'm talking like medieval era um, stuff. It deals a lot with summoning angels um, and banishing demons and that sort of thing. It doesn't have a whole lot of relevance to me and how I practice. It's more of a history thing for me. Um, just 
what did they do? Um, and it's pretty dry reading, to be honest. It's not the most exciting book, but it, it does have a lot of information that I feel like most people don't know about. If you're into sigils, this book is very helpful. And I have to say that has been useful to me because I use a lot of sigils um, in my practice. Example, if you don't know, it's like this is, these are sigils. Um, specifically these were for holy candles. Um, I tend to make my own, but this is great reference for that. Um, anything about tools or tools that used to be used, whether they are now or not. Um, ritual fasting. Um, so it's a pretty good book. Um, it's a slog to get through. I still haven't finished it. I'm like two-thirds of the way through. Um, so that's what I have now for books. Um, I hope that was helpful, um, and that you might find something of interest in those. Bye!